Hi guys, my name is Mark Parner from MacGenie.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up iCloud on your Windows computer inside Outlook. The reason why I'm showing you this, this video, and hang on if you want to know, it's because I just had a client that had issues setting this up. It gave it her an error. So I'm going to look into that error and uh, show you how to fix it. So if you're not able to synchronize your iCloud into your Outlook, then you might want to watch this video. Right, let's get started. Um, the thing is here, you can use iCloud for Windows to synchronize calendars and contacts with Outlook. And to do so, you have to then, of course, first download Outlook on your computer if you, doesn't, if you don't have it on window, Windows yet. You can then use the app called iCloud for Windows. And if you click this, it's only gonna open, it's not possible for me to see it um, in Windows because I'm on Mac right now since it was my client's computer we did it on. But this is how it looks like. And if we look closer to it, um, you can see that there's a tag for iCloud Drive, Photos, Contacts, and Calendars. This is the relevant part. What I recommend if you have any issues is you turn off all the others and only try to turn this on. To do this, you must first uh, uh, close Outlook. So you might have uh, something that looks like this uh, in your settings and your Outlook is shut down already. So you can click the contacts and calendars and you click um, apply down here. And if it it's gonna sync like it's doing here as uh, that window shows. And what it happened, what happened to us is that it kept stalling after five seconds. This says five seconds left and it kept stalling over and over. So to fix it, we actually um, tried to close down this, reboot the computer. And I recommend you do the same thing. And when you reboot the computer, you start up again and you try to do the exact same thing. You open this iCloud for Windows, you click on the contacts and calendars and click apply. Now, if it still gives you an error after this, you have to close down this Go back into Outlook. In Outlook, there's something when you click File on the left, a top right corner, a top left corner. I uh, click File, and then under here, there's something called Account Settings or Accounts. Um, you will go into the Account Setting here, and there's a tab called Data Files. Create a new PST by clicking New, Add a new data file. You just click a PST file and click OK, and it's going to ask you where to put it. Just put it anywhere, documents, uh, desktop, whatever you want, and click OK. And now uh, there's something in here behind this window. Maybe I'll see it here. Yes, it says um, use as standard, like um, default. You click the PST file and you click use as default. Now you click close, you shut down Outlook. You try to go back here clicking this contacts and calendars and uh, then apply down here. If it still comes up with an error, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is, a long, this is a long thing that I did to make this work. I go back into Outlook, I go back into file under account settings, under data files, and I chose that instead the PST file would be a, a default, I chose the iCloud account. And this leads me to the next thing. If you haven't set up your iCloud account yet, then of course you have to do that. There's a few guides on the internet on how to do this. Um, here is how to add an account. Uh, to add your iCloud account, this means you have an email address that is your name at iCloud.com, something like that. This is a quick guide and you can always look at the link or you can even search the title here on Google. Um, and when it comes to putting in your code for your iCloud account to check your email, then uh, you need an app-specific um, code, which is not your actual passcode. So you have to go to the Apple ID website, which is, here's the link. It's called appleid.apple.com. Um, and you sign in here. When you've signed in, you can see um, there's an app. Oh, I'll just go back here. You see that there's, uh, uh, let's see, where is it? <laughs> I know I can't find where I actually was. Uh, here, um, you can see there's an app-specific password you can do under security, and it creates a code like this. That is what you need to put in on Outlook to set up your iCloud account. So that I recommend because that worked for us. I don't know it's going to work for you, but I hope it will. 
That's why I'm doing this video. Um, and let's go back here. So now you uh, can delete the data file, you, the PST file you'd created before. You can make iCloud as your default account. Close down Outlook. Come back to this window. Now click this and click sync. It should be working now. This is the window that looks like here. That's the actual iCloud account that we clicked off as using as um, default. And when we clicked synced up here after closing Outlook, what happened is it created a PST file by itself that was located on the computer somewhere. And um, I think that's why you have to create the PST file is because to actually create the library where Apple try to sync, sync in the data that it pulls down from iCloud.com. So in the end, it should look like this. You're done, everything's great, and it's all synced and all great. But I, I'm still gonna share some, some uh, links with you if you cannot make this work. If you search on uh, Google for the HT204571, you, you find an article that goes through if you don't have uh, an iCloud email, well, if, sorry, how to add an iCloud email contacts and calendars in Outlook. And also here, there's one here, how to fix uh, uh, the iCloud area, uh, like we talked about before. There's an extensive guide on how to do this. I even heard someone creating a new internet profile inside Outlook. I found that on, on YouTube. I might put the link in the description. Maybe that might work for you. Um, again, here's uh, three easy techniques to fix the iCloud error. And here's another one. I'm gonna include all these links. If you're so tired of Outlook, which I do understand, I would say Outlook on Mac is the biggest issue. Outlook on Windows is working pretty good. Um, but I never recommend Outlook on, on Mac because it just has too many issues, depending on what you do. If you don't synchronize your calendars with other people, then don't be in Outlook, use another program. And here is another free one. There's no endorsement or anything on any of that, but I just know that Mozilla Thunderbird which is free, it's actually here. Um, Mozilla actually is a free email uh, app that you can use and here's a guide on how to set it up in that. And also here, if you have address book issues. If you at any point have issues with your Mac computer, uh, what's your uh, Windows computer by some iCloud issues that the contacts are, in this case with my client, she had everything in an old exchange account from her company that she's not a uh, part of anymore. So we took out all the contacts that's hers and we implemented it into iCloud. The easiest way I found to do this was actually on a Mac computer, setting up the accounts and synchronizing it and actually drag dropping from the address book from one exchange account to the iCloud account. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope it fixes your problem so you can again be synced on your devices Again, if it's not synced, you can always go on iCloud.com and see what is actually online in your calendar. If you can see any calendar uh, appointments that is on iCloud.com on the calendar part, but it's not on your phone, then your phone have an is has an issue. You have to log out of iCloud on your phone, delete everything iCloud, and then you have to re-log in on your own terms because you know if something error happens, it's on your own shoulders. Um, anyways, I hope it was helpful, and if you need my help for anything, you can always reach out on macgenie.com. Uh, you can write some something in the comments if, uh, if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.